Rosemary for remembrance. The flowers are rotting, drooping and browning. The petals flesh soft, a halo. But you can't feel it, can you, Ophelia? You can't feel the bite of morning, the broken glass surface on your face, your white hands, once covered, soft, noble hands, now stiff and sliced open by sunrise. There's no blood of yours, too quiet for that. This is not the death of heroes, not the sting and slash of swords, not daring fire bursting forth from a dragon's quick tongue. It's death like child's play, like skipping flat, smooth stones over sunlit, mirrored water, leaving lovely, countable rings in their merry wake. Like that stone that refuses to skip, that sinks with disappointed noise below. In sunset rock you are, cold and blue, we lost you, singing braiding clover chains that match your skin now, white as new snow. That skin can't feel anymore, and he won't remember you. Don't cry, girl. You're too waterlogged already, choked, devoured by waves, by violets, clover, pale lilies. A fat yellow daffodil hovers over your sunken, wide-open eyes. Don't cry. Stars have all burnt out, easy to count now. You're the mad one, girl. Did you never try to breathe, to sing, to scream, to die, to sleep? You thunder for a lullaby. Isn't that better anyway? Isn't it better to die when some would still call you beautiful? Isn't it better to fade away to skeleton and then to dust? It's because of you. My first star wishes stay the same. All girls should be born mermaids. With gills instead of collapsed lungs. With strong, thick-scaled tails. With loud, whale-song voices. Dead brown leaves catch on your limp, clinging white dress. Your brittle, porcelain limbs. I'd wish a tale for you, girl. I'd wish you a song. This elegy for your red rose heart. For your voice. You gave up your gills for lungs. You went mute, grew flowers for hands. You lost your prince, sank back into the deep before the spell was broken. You were the reason. I don't learn lessons. I just inhale, and then I exhale.